So I want to tell you a little bit about the work that I do. So I write content for an open source project. And so this open source project consists of both tutorials and technical tools that people can use. Um, let's say that one of these tools is, is a tool for, for writing queries, for instance, or maybe we want to write a tool for generating a visualization. So typically the workflow we follow is the developer team spends time together developing a new feature. We work together on some documentation, maybe a tutorial, and then the next piece is announcing, oh, there's a new feature coming out. Talk about it on LinkedIn, talk about it on Mastodon or Twitter. So what I explored here is finding ways to automate this communication piece. Uh, so the business statement, as I mentioned, so we're developing a technical product uh, that involves having a technical blog post that can that can help people get get familiar with the tool. But the question is, how do we make sure that those blog posts and those tools are making it out there to the community? So one of the things that we do in open source is we build uh, web pages through markdown files using Sphinx. Uh, and these things, uh, sorry, these markdown files are usually a combination of code and text. So the question is, how can we leverage open source tools to do outreach to the community? So we can use social media like LinkedIn or Twitter. Uh, but now that AI is, is a tool that is available, we can also start playing with things like automating uh, the generation of some of these social media posts. Uh, so the first approach I took was with Langchain. So the first thing I did is I went and did some data scraping. Uh, from the technical blog posts. Um, the next thing I did was to generate a summary with the agent. And then I used the summary to write the social media post. Essentially, I got my agent to go take a look at the web page, tell me a summary of the what's in that page, and then use that summary to, to generate a, a fun and enticing social media uh, post. So what I did in this case is I write my, my code into functions into a .py script with the goal of automating. And I ran this for over 150 technical blog posts. So that was sort of the, the step that I followed. So this is what it looks like. I have one tech tool blog post. I'll set up a, a Langchain agent and I had my, my tools and my agent. So the web scraper was the first step. The summary was the next step. And then the social media post from the summary was the last step. And the end result I had was a social media post. You know, I'll, I'll have some time to show a demo at the end. So I'll show you what that looks like in real life. Now, I ran into a few problems when I tried this. Uh, the first of which was it took, it cost me about $25 via the OpenAI API just with prototyping and running the script via the, 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 the different blog posts. You know, this could be solved by using an open, open uh, source library instead. Um, this what can be one thing that can be done to avoid processing um, hundreds of blocks. One thing that I did notice is that when I was using Langchain on its own, uh, is that it took several hours for 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 the content to be parsed because you know the the way it's set up, it's it, it receives uh, the instruction, it parses. Oh, this is the instruction I receive. It has a thought, and then it spends some time generating the result. And then because I have another step, it, it now has to have another thought about it, and then compute the result. Um, the other thing that I noticed is when I was iterating through the pages, I sometimes got a code 502 from the OpenAI API, which led to the agent to retry until it succeeded. I don't know if I was charged every time it failed. <laughs> That's an open question for me, but it is something that I noticed. Uh, the other thing that isn't great is that the post is local. So I run my script. I have a post, but now what? What if, what if I want someone else to use my tool? What if I want someone else to generate these posts? So the next approach is to use Langchain to curate a data set. Uh, so I'll be using the same approach, but this time, instead of having a raw data set, I'm going to upload my data to Hagen Place. So that's the next step. And then this is when I thought, well, maybe I could try to fine tune a model where the input is going to be a summary and then the output is going to be a post. So I followed uh, one of the tutorials when we used uh, Bloom Z along with uh, uh, PEFT, Laura, and the transformers to fine tune the model with the data. In this case, the data consisted of the summary of the blog post and what a good what a good social media post would look like. I went ahead and deployed the fine tune model to Hagen Face, and then I can use a deployed model to generate posts. So this is what the final product or the final diagram looks like. So before I had one post, and now I can handle a collection of posts. I can pass each of these posts through my Langchain pipeline to generate a data set instead of generating a single post. I can then deploy my data set to Hugging Face. And then from here, I simply follow the steps that were in the notebook. 
I did some prepping and pre-processing of the data. Uh, I prepared the training data, and then uh, that's one phase. The second phase was more around Bloom C model, uh, uh, making sure that we pass it through parameter efficient fine tuning, applying LoRa, and then applying the transformers on my training data. From here, what I get are the adapters. And then the last step is to apply inference. And by inference, I have a, a, a function that says something like, hey, given this summary of a topic, I want you to generate a blog post or sorry, a social media post. That's that's all you have to do. And then I can sort of repeat this process over and over again for all of these summaries and, and generate a collection of social media posts. So now instead of me taking one post and having one social media shout out, I can take a collection of blog posts and have a collection of social media posts that I can share with others. Uh, before I jump into future work, I'll stop the share and I'll show what this looks like in real life. So because the script is a little slow, I won't have time to run it all in front of you, but what I'll show you is what the script looks like. So in this case, I have my imports. I have a couple utility functions. So I'll have, uh, this is my, my crawler. I simply used a beautiful soup to extract the relevant tags from the web page. In this case, I, I cared about the headers and the paragraph. And then the way the way uh, on Sphinx or on, on these, these web pages, the way the code tags are extracted is I think by a this cell doc utils container. So this is a, a, div, a div with class uh, cell doc, doc utils container, which basically signals to the page, hey, I want you to format this as if it was being run on, um, on a uh, terminal. So that's my function. Where Langchain comes in is I, I add this tool uh, decorator. And then the other tool that I generated was this prompter. So I initialized the prompter as a class. I gave it a social media wizard. So if I go to my utils, my social media wizard, where's my social media wizard? It's right here. So I have a system content. I set them up to be an expert digital marketing with some knowledge about the tools that I typically tend to write about. Uh, I give it a bit of a personality. I make it, make sure that they're knowledgeable about specific topics. And then I also ask it to, to know how to select the appropriate hashtags for a post, when to use emojis and how to use them. So that's, that's so I'm kind of using um, a prompting within my tools. So from here, I can go ahead and set up a lang chain where all it's going to do is it's going to extract the data, it generates a post, and then I ask my agent to run two commands. First, I ask it to summarize the content of the blog, blog post, and then I ask it to generate a social media post based on the summary. So if I go and take a look at this, so this is what the agent looks like. So it says, oh, first I need to go and extract the content. And then it says, oh, here's the URL. It scrapes the data. So here's all of the data from the web page. And then it says, okay. So then it thinks, okay, so now I have to, to, to generate the content of a blog post. So it, it's gonna take the summary. And then uh, with the summary, it's next step is to generate a social media post. So here it is. Uh, this is a social media post that I could copy and paste and just put it on LinkedIn or Twitter. You notice it's it sounds pretty, it has a pretty enthusiastic tone. It uses emojis appropriately. It gives me access to put a link if I later on want to put it. And it's it, it was pretty good at selecting the appropriate uh, hashtags for the topic that I picked. Um, and then the last piece that I'll share before I stop is uh, if I go and take a look at this from the uh, hugging face perspective. So let I, I told you that this approach was a little bit more on the slow side. So what I did instead is I, I once I fine tuned the model, is I went ahead and put it on hugging face. Uh, so this is just using the code that we that we used in our tutorial. I just adapted it so that it was working with my data set instead and my topics. So in this case, I say the topic. Hey, I have the summary right here. This is a summary of my my blog post. I make my inference, and then the end result is. Let me just go here. I go right here. Uh, this is what it generates. So um, the 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 content of the post itself is a little different, but it was also very good at having this uh, enthusiastic tone, selecting emojis, choosing the right hashtags, etc. So with the last few seconds, I'll just talk about my future work. Uh, instead of using LandChain to generate the summaries, I might look to fine tune the model to take the raw blog post and then generate the summaries and maybe just make a direct step from summary to blog from from content to media post. And that's it for me. Thank you so much.